Hi, it's Bob Chu again from Stewart and Isla Mirada Boat Works. We're normally filming a latest launch, as you're probably familiar with, but today we're going to do something totally different. This is a 27 Stewart that we delivered a year ago. A week ago, it had a traumatic experience. It was in a dry storage building, three racks up in South Florida, two thirds of the way out of the rack, the hydraulic hoses on the forklift exploded. Quickly, this boat dropped. It dropped, it didn't clear the rack in the bow, and the stern came down at such an angle that it eventually slid back in and hit the forklift. But I just wanted to show you, we got pictures, we thought, wow, this is bad, this is really bad, but please get the boat back to us, we'll do what we can. So I want to show you what happens and, and the effects of what I just described to you. We will also attach a couple pictures to this video so you'll see what it looked like there and then at the time. But if you take a look here, right here on the very stem of the boat, the beginning that slides into the keel, you can see the damage here. Bounced down and then continued. Now we'll go to the other side and you can get a really good look. It looks a little different from the other side. So again here, the keel as it drops down, all the way down, a nice bite right here. Then it continues and it goes on for another six feet down the keel of the boat. So the amazing thing is, that's it. That's the damage to the boat. One other thing I wanna mention is this boat, in order to get it off the broken forklift, they used two travel lifts. The only way they could pick it up was by the bow cleat. The owner of the boat was there. He said, no, please don't do that. You'll rip the bow cleat out of the deck of the boat. And the operator said, look, it's the only way I can do it. So it's interesting if you take a look up here, up on top of the deck, might be a little dirty, but there's not a single crack on the deck or stress crack from picking up the weight of the boat from the cleat. We looked up inside the anchor locker on the underside, same story, not a single stress crack. So really remarkable, a true testament to the structural integrity of our boats. So when I said that was the extent of the damage to the boat, I was right, that was it. Nothing's happened to the hard top, nothing to the pipe work, to the console. This boat has a side door. Nothing happened to the side door um, and so on and so forth. Forward seating and so forth. But the real damage was back here on the motors. This shows you the degree of impact that the entire boat took. Look at the cavitation plate missing, bent. Nice mid housing here, crashed. Every little place you look, I mean, you could actually even look in there and there's some damage to some of the parts there as well. Look down on this side. So the, the point here, this motor as well, the point here is this was a horrific event. And again, I think it speaks mountains about the integrity of our boat and what our boats can withstand. They certainly weren't built to, to withstand with the intention of withstanding something like this, but no, it's just a great testament. So now we have the finished product. About a week and a half later, you can see the finished work. We've repaired the keel beautifully. The boat is essentially like new, at least for this part of the boat. Just wanted to show you that. I think it speaks of the resiliency of the product. And if you're impressed as well, please give us a call. We'd love to build a boat for you. Stewart Boat Works here in Stewart, Florida. Thank you.